in it. What's up, Money Geeks? Mr. V here. Welcome to another video, guys. So, in today's video, we are going to talk about ticket symbol P I N S. Yes, we did it, guys. I uh, called this one here on the channel, told you guys to buy the dip, and guess what happened? Earnings call came out and it just blew out of the ballpark, man. Uh, let me bring up the charts here. Uh, before we even do that, guys, if you're new to the channel, we talk about how to earn money, how to save money, how to invest and build wealth. So if that's something that interests you, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on your content. Also, if you're looking to get started with investing, uh, we highly recommend Weibo. Links in the description below. So Pinterest, guys, we called it. For those of you that don't know what Pinterest is, it's a social media platform. Um, for creators as well as for people that are just looking for ideas um, on doing everything. Uh, you can check out the links. I talked about it here because I said my wife uh, uses Pinterest a lot. And so I saw the need for me to get into the stock. So that's what I did. And I told you guys, this stock was going to jump prior to uh, or the, on the earnings because uh, last earning call, earnings call, the stock went from 40, I think it was like $45 all the way to $68. So I'm like, huh, Pinterest is making some really good moves. So I said, let's catch this one so we don't miss out again and watch and see the earnings came out good. This is where the stock was actually trading um, prior to that. So the stock was sitting somewhere. So when we did that video, the stock was sitting somewhere about 69, if I can get back there. So it was sitting somewhere around 69. Or is it so somewhere around here? That's when we did the video. So I said, This is uh, buy this long term. If you are somebody that's looking for a long term position, also if you're looking to swing, buy it. So those of you that got in down here, uh, I hope that you held it all the way um, to right here. So see, um, when the earnings came out on the fourth, this is where it popped and got a high of about 86 dollars guys that's a lot of movement so i'm super excited about this again for transparency i own this stock in my long-term portfolio but when i saw this opportunity in my swing account i did i did trade the stock so i swing the account that uh, the stock and made some extra profit with again long-term portfolio i'm still looking good um just holding that one and i'm going to keep adding because uh, pinterest boys this thing is headed uh next stop is going to be a hundred dollars and all the way and so I'm still just super pumped about this one. Uh, we nailed this one, guys. Again, next earnings call for Pinterest. I'm going to let you guys know what's happening there. But again, this is a long-term position. Um, this stock is really good. Um, if you look from a social media standpoint, um, this is one that doesn't have the controversy that we see with other social media platforms like uh, Facebook and Twitter. These guys are basically... Um, they provide a lot of values and people don't just go on Pinterest and sit there for nothing. They go there because they're looking for ideas, looking for ways to do things, uh, how to create. Um, so it's a it's a creative platform. So that's why I like it compared to other social media platforms like Facebook, where you just go there to look at pictures of you know people or um, you know cats or whatever. These guys, you go there because you need something. That's the reason why I like it. And my wife uh, gets a lot of her recipes on this platform. So again, if you didn't catch Pinterest, um, next stop is going to be uh, the $100 stop because now that it will crack 80 something, I'm anticipating now the next earnings call, this thing is going to crack 100. So again, I'm going to do a separate video when, it, when we start approaching that because if you didn't catch this, don't jump in right now. This is a mistake and I keep telling this and try to stress this over and over. After a pop like this, if you have FOMO, you're going to jump in. This stock is going to pull back. I anticipate this thing to pull back to under 80, and that would be a great entry point for you. Because last time it was under 70, I said, get in under 70. Now, the next pullback would be under 80. If it gets under 80, you get in in anticipation for that $100 uh, break uh, in, during the next earnings or even before that. But we'll see how things are things are going to ship out, but don't jump in and, and just don't let FOMO control you. So that's what I wanted to cover in this video, guys. Um, I also got some ideas for some of you guys that I should really make it a point to be 
uh, you know, doing videos on the stocks that I'm, I'm swing trading so you guys can get in on some of those actions. So I'm going to start working on that. I try as much as possible to give you guys value in terms of um, stocks that are coming out, um, IPOs and all that. But if uh, a lot of you guys are, are looking to swing trade, uh, I'm going to be sharing, again, some of the stocks that I'm swing trading that I, I hold. Um, like Pinterest was one of them, even though I hold it long term. Um, another one was skills and I'm going to do a separate video on skills too. So you guys, um, can get in on the action. So let me know in the comment section again, if you do have any questions, if you're new to the channel, we talk about how to earn money, how to save money, how to invest and build wealth. So if that's something that interests you, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and any notification bell so you don't miss out on new content. And also guys, if you're looking to get started with investing, Webo is the platform that we recommend here on the channel. Links in the description. Definitely go check them out. You get some free stocks just for using them. And as always, guys, don't be a greedy savage. Do your due diligence and stay motivated.